yes. this month? That is okay, true. I, that I, is I, true. I wasn't I throw sure that out there. Okay, yeah. That's nope. You know what? That's true. Uh, March first is meteorological spring. Uh, we really don't hit uh, astronomical spring uh, until mid-March. So, hey, let's take a look at this photo. The snow geese down at Delta Gunnison Reservoir. Yep, this is where they like to flock. In fact, we just had the snow geese festival last weekend, and these guys are gonna have to stay grounded this weekend, folks, because we've got a lot of wind headed for the West Desert. High pressure is now way off to the east into the Midwest. Taking control is this large low pressure system that's dragging in some cold, moist air from the Aleutian Islands of Alaska, sending it right into the Tahoe region and eventually here in Utah. So we're dealing with this stationary front. It will wobble back and forth a little bit, but we call it quasi-stationary. It's almost perfectly still. And so it's gonna wobble back and forth across eastern Nevada and southern Idaho through six o'clock tonight. Could it send a couple of showers into the northern Wasatch Front and Cache Valley? Most likely. So just be aware of that for today. But what you're going to notice is the wind over the next 24 hours rather strong, even in the overnight for some locations. We're now into Saturday at 4 a.m. early. Winds picking up out of the south. They'll continue to blow into Saturday at the lunch hour. That stationary front finally turns into a cold front and plows right for the Wasatch Front around sometime the lunch hour between noon and three on Saturday, bringing with it rain quickly switching over to snow. Some of that could hold on even into the evening hours. Then it quickly moves off to the east and we see another round of snow try to get in here by Sunday. So we've got some active weather uh, for the next 24 to 36 hours uh, across the Wasatch Front. So here's a look at how much water we're expecting. I mean, this could bring a quick punch of water, half inch to three quarters of an inch for the Wasatch Front, lesser amounts in eastern Utah, maybe a quarter to a half for that southwest corner. How much snow? Two to five for the Wasatch Front. Some benches could do more. One to two feet generally in the mountains. Six to 12 for the Wasatch Back. Three to six for the Central Valleys and Southern Mountains. Six to 12, maybe more for Brian Head. Delta, windy as ever, high of 60 today. Down to the south, Cedar City, also very windy. 56, partly cloudy. To the north, hey, there's those rain snow showers along the Idaho border. We'll keep temperatures in the 40s. Ogden, 59, Salt Lake, 60, Sandy, 61. St. George, we're gonna bring in the showers tomorrow, maybe again on Sunday. Temperatures don't drop too cold though. A Wasatch Front, 60 today, 52, goes to 38. There's that wind and then rain switching to snow. Be ready for it, Dan. All right, Matt, thank you. Uh, we're down